god, are you serious? What in the actual king? Good morning, Bobby boy. Good morning. Cheers. What's up everyone, Lexi Gavin Mather here. Welcome back to the channel. I am coming at you from one of my favorite places on the entire earth. It's Lake Tahoe, which is only an hour and a half drive from Thunder Valley Casino, which is where we are headed today to go play in the World Series of Poker, $1,700 main event. Don't run away from me. Oh, to the snacks, right? No, I wasn't shine. looking at the snacks. I know how much you like this green stuff. Green juice, yeah. yes, green juice. Get your body and mind right before the tournament. No, no, no. Get your mind and body right with, with sugar, almond milk lattes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. The tournament today is a $1,700, $500,000 guarantee, but Thunder Valley always blows their guarantees, so I'm expecting it to be a lot more. So what's your strategy for the tournament today, Bobby boy? Serious or joking? Both. <laughs> serious, serious. Serious, I'm gonna see a lot of cheap flops and try to outplay post flop. Okay, yeah, the, the field at Thunder Valley is usually pretty mixed. They have a lot of like pros that fly in for this one, but they also yeah. have a lot of rec players and run some a lot of satellites. But a lot it. of the rec players are really good. A lot of the rec players a are really good. A lot of the good. Bay Area, Sacramento area. Yes, that's very true. All yeah. right, what about not serious strategy okay, for okay. today? Yeah. You don't do that. We don't say I'm that. I'm gonna bluff my friends there, and then I'm gonna take their chips, and I'm gonna look at them and go, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did more Bob take your chips? Because I get teased a lot here. There's a lot of great people here, but I do get teased a lot you, for being more Bob. They call him Mr. Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> but first, comida. Camera eats first. All right, y'all, we've made it to Thunder Valley. Did a little costume change, put some curls in the hair, feeling good, feeling fresh, ready to go. Let's go crunch. Here we are. Seventeen hunch. Hi, Tyler. Tyler Patterson in the house. At least be in position. Nice All right, here we are. Look, I got table for the All in. Wow. Wow. Okay. All right, let's see all of them. Thanks. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh what in the actual king? Oh, oh my god. Oh my. <laughs> wow. Interesting. Wow. <laughs> aces, aces. I think we're both excited. 35, 40, 41, 9. 41, 9. I, I feel like I earned that. <laughs> uh, nice, Anne. Thank you. Uh, At least we're still so fucking sick. <laughs> I think we're both excited. Right. I would have been so mad. 41, 9. All right. Lucky duck. Oh, that was a fun time. All right, y'all, that hand was freaking wild. The beginning of this tournament on my first bullet was not fun at all. Within the first level, I lost ace-king to king-queen, ace-jack to jack-10 on a jack-high board, and then I busted with the set of nines to the guy that called me when I was c-betting on the flop into four people, called me with a gut shot and wound up getting there on the turn. So I haven't been in a very vlog-friendly mood until that hand and that now I'm just like chilling. Uh, that was a really fun one. I have 126,000 at 1200 big blind average is like 69,000. So I believe I'm one of the chip leaders now. I'm in the spirit. I got myself back to equilibrium and yeah, let's, uh, let's get it. Let's get it. I had some interesting hands that I'm going to talk about later on dinner break, which is coming up. All right, made it to dinner break. We are walking into the buffet. Bobby's very busy right now. We're gonna get some grub and then we're gonna talk some hands. All right, we got some full bellies here with hashtag more Bob. We're 
Morbab. How are we doing? Morbab. 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 <laughs> Bobby boy, how is your tournament going? It's fantastical. Fantastical. That's that's and that's a fun word. It's a bobism. It's a bobism. He also made up the word romantical, which I really like. Which and I rarely use. <laughs> <laughs> I try to not be romantic. I've already got you. I've already married you. That doesn't like, mean why? you should stop being romantical. Well, always, always is when you're dating. Always date. Hi. Always date your spouse. Hello. Uh oh, security. <laughs> Young lady, give me that phone. <laughs> Imagine. Before we all freak out, we know him. We get along with everybody. I get along with most of the business side of poker, but you poker players. We're all besties. Yeah. You know, in business, people respect a bluff. We just call it competitive advantage or something. I mean, it's competitive intelligence. It's... it's okay to lie, to make a phone call to a competitor and lie about something. And in poker, you guys just call me every time and I get caught. Well, oh, sorry, I was sleeping. Uh, what, what, oh, what sorry. Oh, yeah. Didn't want to bore you with the business side of life <laughs> when I just get to play poker. Woo! All right, we're back in the poker room, but there's two quick hands I want to talk about. The blinds were 200, 400, 400. Under the gun, one raises to 800, and he's a wide opener. He's been raising a lot of hands. I decide to three bet from the hijack to 2,400. He calls, and uh, we see a bluff heads up. There's two reasons I elected a three bet. One, I I had aggressive, really good players in the blind, so I thought that if I flatted free flop, that there was a good chance that they would come in for a three bet, so I decided to three bet myself. Uh, the flop is king of hearts, king of diamonds, four of clubs. I down bet to 1200, he calls. The turn is the ace of spades. Now I have some showdown value. He checks and I check back. The river is the two of hearts, he checks. So now I think I can bet for value small. I bet, I bet 4200, he calls and he mucks. Second hand, the blinds were 500, 1000, 1000. I limp into small blind, the small blind with king six of hearts. So it falls to me in the small blind and I limp. Uh, the big line, who is very recreational and has been raising, was raising two other of my small blinds, raised a 3K. I kind of anticipated this, so I decided to 3 bet to 8,600. He calls. The flop is Ace of Hearts, Four Clubs, Eight of Diamonds. I see bet 5,600 and he folds. So, good little uh, limp re raise there. Do you want to explain your kings and the aces hand? Uh, well, I already talked about that. Yeah, <laughs> the kings and the aces into aces was so clutch. GTO. GTO. Yes, thank you. Big pot This went limp. I call from the small blind, big blind shucks. I bet 6,500 on the flop. He raised to 20K. I shove. We are at 1,500, 2,500 blind. Good game, good luck, goodbye. All right, you guys, you're not gonna believe this. It's actually the next day. I was so tilted about busting yesterday. I didn't even wanna do an outro. I've decided to play the next flight of this event and flight C and we're five away from the money. <laughs> Isn't poker funny? I've been grinding all day. We, there are 67 players left and 62 get paid. There were 408 people in this flight and we have 170,000 coming back to 8K Big Blind. So I think, uh, I think it's pretty much a lock, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna jinx myself. Hey Turbo. <laughs> tell them to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. 
also, when I win this, that's we right. get the two business class. That, that's right. It's all record now. Turbo is giving us a free roll. He said that if he wins this event, that he's gonna get Bob and I first class tickets to Paris. <laughs> he's the best. I love Turbo. Turbo's a character. I absolutely love the magic of video editing where it's the same 15, 20 minutes for you guys and it's a whole new day for me. So I'm in a much better headspace today. That beat yesterday was definitely one of the sickest beats I've taken all year. That was just insane. All right, let's freaking cash this thing, huh? Good luck, good luck. 67 left, then 62 get paid and make it to day two. All right, we lost one, four people away. Lost another one. That was fast. All right, we are hand for hand. For those of you who don't know, that means that each table is going to play one hand and then the action is going to stop. This prevents people from thinking too long on the bubble and stalling for the money. So, yay! Looks like I would have to try really hard to screw this up right now. <laughs> In the money! Yay! We're doing it! Inception! Yeah, let's go! Cheers! Cheers! Today was a good day. <laughs> Today was a great day. A little bit better than yesterday. Better than yesterday. That's what's up. <laughs> All right, don't go anywhere because day two is gonna be the same video. We're just gonna do it all in one, in three, two, one. And with the magic of editing, we are back and it is the next day for us. We look a little sleepy. Bobby's a little sleepy because it's morning and we're here having breakfast, a breakfast of champions. And uh, day two restart is in an hour, so. Why do you look beautiful we're in just morning and feeling. I'm just like this? Like you wake up with an old ogre. <laughs> Don't say that about my husband. That's mean. You're beautiful. Hashtag more bomb in the comments, guys. Tell him he's beautiful. I feel like I should live under a bridge right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. There were 742 players. We are down to a little over 100 players left, and first place is $207,000. We are guaranteed $2,540. But I'm only looking at first. I have about average chip stack, so I'm totally fine. And I'm just gonna try to play smart today and make that final table. All right, walking in for my day two. I'm just trying to think about my intentions for the day. My intentions are to just really play focused, try not to be on my phone too much, you know, try to get the distractions out and pretty much just keep trying to build chips and knock out some people. So here we are. I'm excited. Alrighty. There we go. So day two strategy is a little bit different than day one. Stacks are shallower, so there's a lot that you have to do to adjust to that. If you want to learn more, I do have a course called the Poker Accelerator. Just visit LexiGavinMather.com or the description box below. I talk about how to address your strategy based on the different, you know, varying stack depths and yeah, just some like ICM strategy, final table strategy and all that stuff. So go check it out. Also, hit the subscribe, like, follow, all the buttons. That stuff really helps me out. Thank you. All right. Good luck, opponents. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 207K for first, 127K for second, and so on. We lost a bunch of players already. 96 left. All in. Okay. That was scary looking. We made, made it a we made it sweat. We made it, yeah, always a sweat. <laughs> Hello, Bobby boy. Look who is always here when I'm going deep in the tournament. You know, you you don't need to steal those. I will buy you those. But I like these in coffee. I, I understand, but. I don't think it's stealing, it's these are free. They're, yes, but so people I don't think they're meant to be taken to go. People that say there's nothing free in the world. Yeah. Nothing's free. 
you just have to think, well, how much do they charge you for ketchup at the, at the restaurant, right? And these were free, so I took 75 of them. Are you gonna take the light bulbs from our hotel room too? Because technically- That's stealing. That's, that's stealing. not stealing. That we're allowed stealing. to use, or what about the batteries in the remote? Those are uh, all for us. That's, you're not getting the concept, are you? <laughs> how many stevias do you put in your coffee and how much extra <laughs> is the stevia? I do steal stevia. You do. That's why we're meant for each other. 71 left. All right, double breaking. 63 players left. I can smell the wind. All right, just got moved to a new table and look who we have over here in the 1K. Hi, honey. Good to see you. I have to wait a hand because I'm coming in between. It's good to see you. Thank you for putting the camera in my face. You're welcome. What, what tournament is this? This is the $1,125 ring event with $500 bounties. Why don't you go get some bounties? I will. Why don't you go sit down and play? They're dealing. They're, they're not, but I get the hint. Goodbye. 57 left. And we got a little bitty pay jump. Guaranteed $3,100. You have 100 big Grinding. Right? We have 10 bigs now. Lines are going up fast. Shout out to Mike. Hi, Mike. Look, I can like. But if you have like 300, it's a fold every time. Because it's just decimation. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> With no idea. Table's breaking again. 54 left. Must spin. Hey. Can you hold this? Can you do this for me? I'm missing my big point. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Oh, oh shit. I'm sorry. I have to do that. My bad. My bad. My bad. Okay, so this one's. No, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I know. I'm talking to my camera. <laughs> Alright, thank you. It's fine. It's really only. I'm not gonna jinx myself. Now it's all come out. Oh, God. <laughs> Same results for me. Same results for me. I lose it. Yeah, what do I do? Alright, alright, alright. Back in it, back in it, back in it. Yeah, baby. We're back. Alright, all in against this guy. Stay clean. Hold. Oh. Good game. Yeah. Thank you. All right. My, how the tables have turned. Yeah. And look <laughs> what we got, got from this fine model. gentleman. Thank, Thank you. So he was giving out these little cool bird, bird things for anyone that knocked anyone out. Yeah. All right. We're chilling. All right, we now have 525,000 at 15K big blind. We're back in it. Okay guys, I just lost kind of a big hand and I'm kind of confused about it. I wound up folding the river, but let me know your thoughts in the comments. So the blinds are 10,000, 15,000, 15,000. Middle position who has a million chips behind limps. The cutoff and button both limp for 15,000. I raised ace of spades, queen of clubs from the small blind to 70K and I had 480,000 to start the hand. Middle position limper calls and we're heads up. The flop is queen of diamonds, five of clubs, five of spades. So pretty good flop for me. I see bet small, I see bet 50,000 and he raises me to 150K. I call. Maybe I should have shoved here, but I don't know. The turn is the king of hearts and I check and he checks back quickly. The river is the king of clubs. I check again and he shoves for my remaining 220,000. I think for like ever and I fold. And I asked him to show the bluff and I think that he would, um, but he didn't. So I'm thinking he might've just had it. Um, but it's just like weird because he limped pre-flop so sh he shouldn't have like ace king and king queen plus I block king queen. Maybe maybe he was trapping with like pocket kings or something or aces, but I block aces. I don't know, maybe he just bluffed me. Maybe he had a five. Very confused. I think maybe he had a flat five or pocket fives. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. But anyway, we have 220,000 at 15K big blinds. So we need to run it up again. All right, all in. <laughs> Count has been asked for. 
think it's 220. 219. Yeah, still have cards. 219 is your number. I have to balance my camera ranges because sometimes people are like, oh, you only pull it out when you have a big hand. So sometimes I'll pull it out when I have like seven, two. <laughs> All right. Okay, we're on break. I suddenly feel so much better because I asked the guy what he had in that hand, that big hand that I lost, that I folded. And he told me he had aces. So he limped aces pre-flop, which I definitely thought he could have. So I'm so grateful that he told me that because I literally couldn't. I, I just like was it was all I was thinking about. I just ran the hand pass Ari Angle, um, professional poker player, total crusher, and he thought that I should call it off. But I don't know. It was kind of a player dependent fold. Like they do a lot of limping with like and trapping with their like high pairs and stuff in this one. I've noticed. So I don't know. He could definitely have king queen there too. But I mean, I don't know. I, I'm glad I folded because he had aces and that I would have been out. So, 42 players left. We're hanging in. All in 220. Survival, thank you. All right, I have Jax, he has aces, all in. Thanks. What are you thinking about? <laughs> okay, that was really unfortunate. Ran into aces, cooler spot, and he asked for a count, which is annoying. But anyway, I'm proud of my run. Thanks for sticking with me on this. I cashed uh, for just under $4,000. And so far, 2024 is off to a good start. Thanks again for watching, guys. See you on the next one. Bye.